As the Mythbusters know, that's pretty serious. Speed kills. <laughs> the greater an object's acceleration, <laughs> the more force on impact. I'm going to cook this now. And before the guys attempt to mechanically ramp it up to supersonic, the minimum that Jamie thinks is required for a lethal hit, our less than professional players have given the manual speed test everything they've got. So, Jamie was able to rocket the ball off his paddle at 68 miles an hour. I was able to do it at 75 miles per hour. Neither of those speeds anywhere close to lethal. But I have an idea for getting it to go a bit faster. Perfect. I'm going to build it. Their hands-on technique obviously failed to fuel a fatal force. So Adam puts together an air pressure-powered ping-pong pop gun. Here's how this works. This is what I call a breech-loading pop gun. Here's the breech. There's the ammo. Seal it up. Pressurize from here. Open it up. Point it in the direction you want to hit with a ping-pong ball. Release with this high-pressure valve. And Bob's your uncle. What does Bob's your uncle mean? Well, it means hopefully that we've gotten the ping pong ball to an impossibly large speed. And with the pressure pumped to the max, the pop gun can handle a modest 95 PSI in three. We're about to find out. 140 miles per hour. Nice for a little device like that. There we go. It's not lethal, though. We've got a long ways to go before we get to that point. 